55 here. I see where the story is going right now. Uh, I mean, it's been apparent that there's been some type of consciousness, I guess you can call it that. That's what they called it. Living inside the quirks of, the, of uh, Deku. There's that whole world, but it's official now. And now that the idea has been plainly set forth, it's kind of like, eh, I don't know how to feel about that. Don't really, I'm not excited about the idea. I think um, all for one should just stay separate from Tomura. Uh, the sufficient that way. I don't like the combining of those two characters. I think it's a, a waste of good villains. I guess I can get used to it. So not a lot happened story-wise. We, we learned more about the, the two brothers. One for all's brother. We, I don't know. That that whole sequence kind of seemed like that. All your friends gather together and we're going to win a celebrate for love type thing. I, I just... This was probably one of my least favorite parts of the story, I'll say. We know that the powers of others are being passed on. I like that concept, but the idea that there's a whole separate world there and they're dead and they're, but yet yet they're alive, it really doesn't make sense. They live all through their quirks. Quirks have their own consciousness. That could transform into some interesting things, but <laughs> I can kind of see why some people might have got uh, shut off by it. However, all that being said, the anime is still great. There's still plenty of good characters that we can enjoy. All that living inside, quirk consciousness stuff aside, I, it's still a great anime. So I'm going to still continue to watch it and enjoy it. i just uh, not excited about this whole living inside of quirk stuff. Maybe there was a better way to write that. Who am I to judge? I don't write anime. I don't put the time and hard effort that they put into it. But, yeah, I do wish that that part was just explained differently or just left there, like, memories or vestiges of power. Like, they left this power image or something. But the whole idea of uh, living inside of them is pretty interesting. Otherwise, though, I think the character that stole the show today was uh, all for one. His speech about Deco being useless really shows you how great of a villain he is. Even though Shigaraki has all these quirks and all these powers and we're seeing it, uh, you, you can't help but love the, the, the villain that all for one is. He has this uh, way of getting underneath people's skin and aggravating the main characters. Really entertaining when he's talked about experiencing sins like some normal person because he has dreams about the quirks he, he steals people from. And he talked about how he holds grudges, the irony of someone that evil holding grudges against people. <laughs> but he said it and... Then, you see his his insanity of hate being passed on to Shigaraki because Shigaraki's trying to destroy him too, but he's like, it's not enough. 